Ken FM, it's time for another tech review. And today we're gonna to be talking about one of the smallest pieces of tech I've ever received. Today we're gonna to be looking at the Kodo Pro from Yocan. Let's dive in. The new battery packs a ton of features inside a very compact compartment, man. This is a huge upgrade from the original Kodo that they released a couple years ago. The Kodo Pro takes that original design and amplifies it to the next level. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you know when all the latest and greatest tech comes out. Travis Depp's gonna be the first one talking about it, man. All right, let's talk a little bit about the basics here. Simple design, it's a 510 thread cart, so basically gonna take all those universal cartridges that you're super familiar with. Micro USB Type-C rechargeable, which is really nice, so you probably have one of those cords laying around, so no reason for this thing to ever die because you probably got a charger and a block laying around somewhere. Plus, for portability's sake, it actually has a little lanyard slot so that you can thread a small lanyard, keep this thing on you at all times, or maybe if you wanna keep it on your keychain or whatever just so it doesn't get lost because this thing is pretty tiny. All right, let's talk features and function. We're gonna to toss a cartridge on top of here so that way the thing functions properly because when it doesn't have a cart connected, it won't let you cycle and do everything you need to do because it doesn't want you to fire a battery that isn't gonna produce any juice, man. All right, let's toss this on there, see what it does. All right, let's talk functionality of the pen. Now that we got a cart tossed on here, man. Simple design, five button clicks on, five off. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, man. Has a plus and minus buttons here so you can go up and down in voltage uh, to the point, to the, to the decimal point. That way you can tune in your hit perfectly because you don't want to be over uh, over vaporizing whatever concentrate may be in the pen. Again, more thick, less thick, you're gonna want to tune the hit to match your pen. There's even a couple stats that are tracked in this pen, man, which I think is really cool. So it actually counts how many puffs you've taken off of your pen, I guess in the session. So it has a little uh, P counter, it's got four decimal places. So if you want to take up to 9,999 puffs, then it'll reset back to zero, or you can just hit the power and the minus sign at the same time, and it'll, it'll clear it back down to zero. So you can record how much you're puffing on the pen, man. Super cool for a very tiny design. Uh, second, you got a uh, second timer, no pun intended. You actually got a timer that shows you how many seconds you ripped that last hit for, um, which is super cool. So it has a 15 second cutoff, so you're not gonna be able to rip any more than that, but it knows exactly how long you've been pulling on that pen. That way you can look at it and see, okay, shit, maybe I've been taking some big fat rips lately. Do I need to adjust? Do I need a better pen? Do I need a better cartridge? Whatever, you're able to tune it a little bit more accurately. Last feature this thing really packs, it has a double click preheat setting. So you can just tap the button twice, it'll start running for about 10 seconds to get it up to snuff. It won't be all the way up to temperature, but you'll definitely notice paper production. You should definitely be ripping it a little bit, but that way when you're ready for the full pen hit, you just hold that button, man, and it goes. So you're not going from cold to hot, you're going from warm, borderline hot to where you need it to be to get that vapor production. You know, let me know down in the comments below, have you ever seen a digital display on such a tiny device, man? Have you used a, just a vape battery that had a full-fledged LCD display, man? This thing is pretty sick. All right, nothing to it but to do it. Let's use that preheat setting. We're gonna let that run. I'll show you what that looks like. Then we're gonna take a couple drags off the pen so we know exactly how this thing works at different settings. talk a little bit about those rips man that was an incredible experience i loved how tuned in i can make that so if you saw that first hit was at three volts so that's pretty close to where i like it at maybe a tad higher but that was pretty ideal great vapor production great hit not crushing the throat took it down to two volts a little lower you saw how much thinner the cloud got it wasn't nearly as uh, pervasive but the uh, taste of it was absolutely phenomenal i wouldn't say it was that much better than the uh, three volt hit, but it was definitely noticeable. I definitely could taste a little bit more turp action, but a little less on that smack that I also do like with my medicating hits. Then I cranked it all the way up to four and you saw the cloud on that, man. I could feel that on the rip, felt denser, felt thicker. And then man, you just had a, a nice cloud expulsion. That was a really great pen, man. I am impressed. This is a very welcome uh, redesign and amplification to the original Kodo. I think Yokan absolutely nailed it on this vape battery. Probably one of my favorite vape batteries I've gotten to try in a long time. You know, I'm used to just your single button fires, auto draw pens. We've seen some fancy schmancy ones that do a little too much, but in the wrong direction. This, I think, took all the necessary focus and put it where it needs to be. 
Yeah, I mean, overall, this was a great experience. I loved this pen. I know it's available in a bunch of different colors. Shout out to Yokan for sending these two over for me to give a test of. This is a fantastic device, and I'm definitely excited for the next one. I know we've already talked recently about a dab pen. We just talked about a vape battery. Who knows what's going to be next in the Travis Dabs lineup of tech reviews. But otherwise, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, subscribe, follow, do what you gotta do to stay up to date on the latest and greatest Travis Dabs content. Otherwise, guys, this has been Trav for Travis Dabs. Happy elevating.